Hey everyone, there's a new tool for you. This is from Inlinx. It is free. Uh, and I actually like it a lot. It's an in entity indexing checker. There are some things that could be better, but I do like it a lot. So let's find a URL. Um, I don't know. Best drone for the money. There you go. And we'll use the drone buyer's guide. And I'll like delete this because I don't want all that crap. That's not an ad, is it? Mm. Oh, yeah, it is. Ads related to you. I think those two are ads. You can't tell anymore. I use consumer picks. Consumer picks. All right, so come in here, click on this. Click on this. <laughs> you get the fancy graphic. And then you have a list of um, topics and topic frequency and topic type. You understand these if you know more about um, Inlinks because they they have their own unique system. So they, they run by Google, Google NLP, and then they have their own thing to pull out the uh, entities and to form topics, et cetera, et cetera. And if you don't know what Inlinks does, it also has a tool or a function to create about and mention schema. And in order to get that, for this particular page, you click on this and it's right there. One thing I don't like is that it's missing the Google machine readable ID URL to associate it with Google, what Google already knows. So like if I search for money, let's search for money. And we'll go to google.com. I'm gonna do money. And Here's the thing. So we need this, right? And then money has a machine readable ID for it. So we could, in theory, find that and find the Google machine readable ID URL for money. Um, it's in the code. I just don't want to look for it now. Um, consumer drone and all of these have machine readable IDs. So I would like that to be better. This isn't too bad because it is narrowed down um, pretty far. Like typically if you're using topical relevance, you expect to see a lot of stuff to get as detailed as possible. Whereas this is just kind of straight on, on the nose. I haven't really tested one versus the other like their little minimized version versus a, a big one um but that being said i probably wouldn't either because i prefer i want to give as google as much information about my content as i can and using topical relevance version the way they lay that out is much better so but let's say you have you just need to get something this is a good thing for getting something um, topical relevance, I, again, is better, but if you need to just get something, this is, a, this would be good for that too. <clears throat> you can actually do some e-com stuff. Let's like, let's search for, I don't know, um, Jeep Wrangler LED headlights. And... We have this. Sure. Uh, fine. Uh, number one rated headlights. Um, I hate websites that do that. LED headlights. Tactic LED headlights. So we have this we go to the entities tool um looks good and see that's really good that's that is a bit much better uh pick so we just drop that on our content 
uh, on this page <clears throat> in the schema. Um, it's better than nothing. Uh, but it, when, if you've got, let's say, your this is your website and you got a hundred thousand of these, the steps that I just took. I mean, all you have to do is add the, adding it to the head, and you're off to the races. So <clears throat> this will get you by um, without having to wait for topical relevance to go. Topical relevance, you got to pick the keywords. This is getting it directly off of the page. So. Assuming, um, especially for e-commerce, I think this would probably be a better application than topicalrelevance.com. That said, um, either way, you still have a, um, a nice, good schema in the beginning to get started with. So check out the tool. As always, link in the description below.